Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. All right. Happy Halloween, everybody. Last day of October, heading into November. Uh, we talked yesterday about the band ride being over if they couldn't print 4126. 41, we talked about the weekly pivot being a likely place for things to head in the morning. Um, all that played. It played really nicely. Played into a nice long, played into a nice short. But here's where it went wrong for the bears. Here's where we had a problem. So they take it down, they lift it, they test weekly pivot right here, which was great. You know, we got out of longs, we got into shorts, comes back in, but it could not deal. And that, these are hour candles. So you're talking about four hours here. It could not deal with the hourly mid band. And after about four hours of, you know, three, three to four hours of watching it try, price is finally like, you know what? Here's your higher high. We'll we'll spend you know we'll spend an hour, couple hours above weekly pivot, um, and you know we'll see you know we'll see what happens here. Now they wound it back and they've taken it back up. So basically, what we're doing now is we're just kind of fighting over the weekly pivot, which is normal. But what didn't happen here was you didn't get the lower low, you didn't get any continuation of the band ride. So that opens up things like the nine day up at forty two twenty. And if it keeps up, you're just gonna, you can see the, the daily mid band here, the, the 20-day simple moving average, it's represented by the green line. It's a little lower every day. A little lower, a little lower, a little lower. That's gonna accelerate over time, just kind of like, you know, like the nine day has. And eventually that's gonna meet price, uh, you know, as a function of time or as a function of price if it really starts to lift. Um, and then, you know, which is what the, the S&P 500 has done with Bollinger Bands for, for decades. Upper band, middle band, lower band. Lower band, middle band, upper band. I've been teaching you guys that forever. We just did a bunch of lower band. And now um, it's time, um, now it's time to, you know, potentially take a look at the middle band. Then the real larger intermediate term picture there will be, does it want to trade above or below? If it wants to stay below, then we'll stay sell rallies, and that'll just be another rally to sell, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but you have to expect a little bit of a lift here. And it's because they couldn't get it done after after this. So this, you know, this was a great trade anyway. It could have been an epic trade. So I'm kind of bummed because, you know, it, it went to where it needed to. It was failing where it needed to. But... It's hard to keep band rides like that going over a period of days because things just get so stretched out. Um, so one of a couple of things as we head into today. You got the weekly pivot 41.83, VWAP's at 86, hourly mids at 82, proprietary moving average is 94 and change. So they took it up just under 4,200. They brought it in on that 830 econ, employment cost index, things like that. It was a little hot. Um, so I fully expect price to come back in and actively trade and test weekly pivot during the regular session. The trick's going to be, are we going to hang around here for a day? Are we going to get another compression? Remember compression, breakdown, compression, breakdown. No real little lift. No reason why it couldn't lift into a compression here. And then the question is, is it up this time or we go back down? That's fine. If, if it wants to compress today, though, the key today then is don't overtrade it. Don't overtrade it. And, you know, we, we hit our weekly goals yesterday. So as far as the subscribers in the room goes, we will certainly not be overtrading it. Um, you know, do we get an opportunity or two or are we going to get, a, you know, are we going to get a pretty active day? That remains to be seen. You've got, you know, now, now you've got resistance at 4,200. You got weekly pivot underneath at 83. I could see it contained within that 17 handles for the day. If it is, fine. Use your opportunities, take your profits. Don't be afraid to take a runner and wait for the next opportunity. Um, if it wants to break out or break down, even better. But what you don't want to do is, if it's tighter than that, if it's really tight, remember these are hourly candles, that's tight. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Just, you know what? Take a breath, relax, go take a walk, do something else, except taking 482 trades 
burning a bunch of commission and turning your broker into a hero. And then, you know, what are you left with at the end of the day? A bunch of trades and not a lot of handles. You know, if it doesn't want to be exciting, don't you make it exciting. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well, and I'll talk to you soon. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.